and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans in the world, it's your boy Mega Crasher coming at you pumped up, coming at you hardcore, and coming at you guys back again once again with another epic as hell video for you cool cat legends. And this right here is going to be another Pokemon Go vlog, okay? We are on episode 17, and I figure it's about that time that this Mega Crasher cool cat hyperactive maniac showcases to you! what it is I've got in my collection that I've acquired over the last week. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's stay for 25 likes and let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this first thing that I want to showcase to you guys is my new Crobat, baby. Woo! And I just gotta say, man, that I am particularly excited about this. I evolved this badass last night, but see, the thing of it is, so is that, like, when I seen its moveset, I just about went angry grandpa mode. I'm like, you got to be shitting me, man. It's like, this is a great Pokemon with a really solid IV. It just has the wrong moveset. No! Like, I wanted it to have Air Slash and Sludge Bomb for dual stab and maximum damage output. But instead, it has Bite and Shadow Ball. Like, what the fuck? No! Come on, man. But see, the thing of it is, though, is that... The only good thing about this is that it does have a strong offense now against its weakness being psychic. But I mean, come on, for fuck's sakes, it's like, can't a guy have a solid Pokemon with a solid moveset? Well, no, see, that's when Pokemon Go decided to troll your boy Mega Crasher and give me this kind of a moveset. But you want to know something, man, is that... This Pokemon has a really solid IV, so I'm keeping it without a shadow of a doubt. Plus, I also have three more Golbat to evolve into a Crobat once I get enough candy. And they're all of high IVs, so hopefully one of them will roll lucky in my favor and get me the moveset that I want that will make Crobat the most optimal in battle. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to move on to the next section of the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next in this video, I want to showcase to you guys a couple of Pokemon that I caught last night that actually have a really, really solid IV. Like, uh, I, I went to the appraise section, right, and it says that uh, these Pokemon can battle with the best of them. And you know, okay, you know that that is the highest ranking overall that you can get for your Pokemon, and that right there should tell you that, hey, these Pokemon are really solid and you ought to keep them, okay? And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we have ourselves a fan P that is of a rather low level, but you wanna know something, man, is that it is going to be well worth powering this thing up because Dawnfan is actually one of the best Pokemon that you can get so far in Generation 2 Pokemon Go. Like, its CP is so ridiculously high, man. Like, holy shit, man. Like, this Pokemon is going to be beefy. It's gonna be tanky. It is just going to absolutely rip face when it comes to the competitive scene for Pokemon Go. And then we get to Sneasel, okay? Now, this Pokemon also has a really, really solid high IV. And the thing is, is that even though Weavile does not yet exist here in this game because it's a Gen 4 Pokemon, I am saving Sneasel for when that happens, or if it happens, I certainly hope it does, because if Weavile was to be introduced here into this game, it would be completely scary. It would be a nightmare among nightmares, ladies and gentlemen. So you best bet that your boy Mega Crasher is going to be keeping this Sneasel up in this. And I just gotta say, man, that the chances of catching Pokemon with really solid IVs are a lot lower than average, okay? Like, the thing is, is that, like, you're better off hatching Pokemon and having a much better chance of a Pokemon having a really high IV than it is to catch Pokemon. So, I definitely consider myself lucky considering that I caught not one, but two Pokemon with excellent stats, excellent IVs. So, yes, with all of that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to move on to the next section of the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we get into some of the Pokemon that I have hatched from eggs, okay? And I am very, very proud of this batch right here, okay? So first things first, we have ourselves a Magnemite that I hatched, and you guys know uh, right off the bat that when it comes to hatching Pokemon, as I mentioned time and time again, you're generally going to be rolling really high IVs, and they are going to be appraised as these Pokemon can battle with the best of them, and 
I just gotta say that I'm really excited because I love Magnemite, I love Magneton, I already have a couple of them in my collection, but I'm trying to roll out to see when I can get the best Magneton and save that for when Gen 4 comes out and evolve that bad boy into Magnezone, okay? I'm very, very excited for that. And speaking of 4th Gen, we also have ourselves Magby and Tangela. Now the thing of it is, is that Magby is a Gen 2 Pokemon, and it's a Pokemon that I've hatched, and it also has really, really solid IVs too, okay? I can't wait to evolve that thing into Magmar, and then hopefully once Gen 4 rolls around, I can evolve it into a Mag Mortar, making it even just that much more of a ridiculously overpowered fire monster, okay? And then we get to Tangela! I just gotta say, hatching this bad boy, holy shit! And Tangela is apparently one of the best Grass-type Pokemon currently in this game, and I fully agree, okay? Like, I love Tangela, its design, its typing, its moveset! It has Solar fucking Beam, man! Solar Beam! Definitely the best Grass-type move that you can get, bar none, okay? Any Pokemon that stands up against this thing that happens to have a Grass-type weakness, they get completely blown back. And I'm like, you want to know something, man? I'm powering this thing up to the best of my abilities, okay? So, obviously, its CP is going to be a little bit higher than average, uh, as opposed to if I just left it as such as soon as it hatched. But holy shit, man. I'm just like, this is a Grass-type monster that I need to have on my side right now. And then, speaking of monsters, ladies and gentlemen, we get to Growlithe, okay? Now, the thing of it is, is that some of you guys already know that I have a very powerful Arcanine, right? It has 91 IVs across the board, has the best moveset that you can think of. I believe it's Fire Fang and Fire Blast, but this right here, I hatched a Growlithe, and you want to know what the IVs are? Like, its best IVs are its an HP and Defense, and it's 15, 14, 15, so it's 97.8 for the IVs! I'm like, dude, I hatched a near-perfect Growlithe, okay? Holy shit, it is only a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen, before I get myself my second Arcanine, and it is going to be even more powerful than the Arcanine I originally had in terms of IVs, but the thing of it is, is that there's going to be a couple of factors, okay? Well, first off, I'm not getting rid of the other Arcanine because I've had that thing for so long, and it's so damn awesome, and it ranks as one of the best overall Pokemon that there is in Pokemon Go. I mean, bar fucking none, okay? But secondly, should this Growlithe roll a really bad move set when he evolves, please, I'm hoping that he gets Fire Bang and Fire Blast, please. Please, okay? Like, please with knees, okay? Please with knees. Can we please get it the really solid moveset when it, we evolve it into an Arcanine? I certainly hope so, man. I'm on my way up there. I'm just a few candy short, man. So, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of hatching Pokemon, I gotta showcase you guys this, what I hatched last night. So, let's do this. Ha 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 ha! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans in the world, your boy Mega Crasher managed to hatch a Togepi, okay? And I just about flew off the ground when I came across hatching this cute little baby Pokemon. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, Jonathan, like, okay, Jonathan told me that catching Togepis, let alone Togetics, are so incredibly rare. Like, he said that they're more rare than catching the likes of Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite, all those crazy rare strong Pokemon and stuff. And I'm just like, dude, like, I cannot believe it. Like, what are the chances of hatching a Togepi? Like, what the fuck, man? Not to mention, okay, this Pokemon has also a really, really solid IV as well. And I'm just like, dude, it's like, once fourth generation comes around and Togekiss becomes a thing, this thing's gonna be a monster! I'm like, dude, no fucking way! No way, man! Woo! I'm just like, good god almighty. Like, I, I, I am gonna have one hell of a video for you guys, and hopefully this does not disappoint. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, like, let me know in the comment section down below, like, what it is that you guys have hatched, and also let me know, guys, if you guys actually hatched a Togepi, or have a Togepi or Togetic in your, in your, uh, possession, man, because... Woo! I just gotta say, man, it feels so damn good to be able to hatch, like, super, super rare Pokemon, okay? I'm not just about the strong Pokemon, I'm about weak Pokemon, I'm about rare Pokemon, I'm about common Pokemon, all that stuff, man. You know your boy Mega Crasher is a Pokemon guy, so... 
yeah, with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to conclude the video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that right there is going to conclude this video. I certainly hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making this for you guys. And if you did enjoy it, then fire off a like, man. Like, let's show this series lots of love and support in the best way that the Crasher community can, man. And if you guys want more content like this, man, then make sure you subscribe, support, stay positive, and don't forget to hit the notification bell right above you so that way you're the first to know when you see your boy Mega Crasher upload next. Let's save for 25 likes here for this video, and don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, that if you guys are a part of the community, just know that we're a community that's packed with energy, packed with insanity, packed with entertainment, inspiration, and appreciation all around, man! And when we're a community type packed on this one, we shine much brighter than the sun and the moon! Come on, so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Much love to you cool cats, and I will see you next upload! play Pokemon Go tonight. It's a fucking monsoon out there. <laughs> I don't want to get swept away, man. But anyways, have a good night. Woo!